Many visitors to Costa Rica have heard about the coffee plantations, but most of them only go to the big corporate run plantations. What about the smaller ones? Well, take my advice. You want to go about 25 miles outside of San Jose, and you don't want to drive too fast, or you'll miss this place, El Toledo. It's a totally hands-on, totally family-run operation. And here's the cool part. You don't just watch them, they put you to work. El Toledo Coffee is the passion project of three generations of the Calderon family, going back 80 years. But it was this generation that has moved to organic farming. Gabriel Calderon Vargas runs El Toledo with his father and grandfather. He says the decision to go organic was a personal one. We've been learning lots of things uh, since we did a change in the farming. We started uh, from using chemicals to not use chemicals. That transition happened because of uh, one very important reason. My dad got sick when he used chemicals. Today, instead of chemicals, the Calderon family does the process by hand, meaning more jobs for the community and a chance for visitors like me to join in. So now you take the beans out to dry them here, right? Yeah, they are drying here. So you want to work? Sure, I'll work. Can I work out in the sun? Give, give me that. Give me that. So what am I doing? I'm raking, right? You're raking, moving the beans, making them dry evenly. And how long will this take? Like one week. It depends on the sun. So all dry. this will have to wait, wait a week? About a week. Wow. It's, uh, it's great exercise, and uh, you can get a tan. So my advice, sunscreen followed by coffee. This is one family business that knows how to make an excellent cup of coffee, and Calderon is happy to keep that tradition going. My grandparents started, then my dad continued. He changed into organic, he passed the knowledge to me, and I'm so glad and I'd be so happy to continue transmitting that to the next generations. I'm Peter Greenberg, and thanks for watching.